So I'm going to be talking about uh, how you can get an entry level quantitative analyst job in India. In India, there are not many uh, academic programs in uh, quantitative finance or financial engineering or mathematical finance. But there are many jobs in uh, quantitative finance. Many jobs actually. All the big investment banks are there in India. They have offices in India. All the big consulting firms uh, which uh, also hire uh, quantitative analysts, they're also in India. Fortunately, we don't have many quantitative finance programs in India, except in few places. For example, in Indian Statistical Institute, they have uh, quantitative economics, which is not quantitative finance, but it's very uh, mathematical economics. So similar to quantitative finance, but not quantitative finance. Then you have uh, one program in Chennai Mathematical Institute. They have a mathematical finance program, a good one, in fact. Then you have Madras School of Economics, you have Indian Institute of Quantitative Finance, IFRMR Business School. They also have MBA in financial engineering. So there are just a handful of programs where you can study quantitative finance or financial engineering. Huge demand and supply gap. We need over thousands, thousands of quantitative analysts um, in a year, and we barely produce a couple of hundred. Why do other companies get the other, you know, the people, the remaining? They actually get people from computer science background, from mathematics background, from statistics background. So if you have degrees in these uh, academic fields, you are an engineer, you are a physicist, um, uh, mathematician, statistician, economist, you can aspire to become a quantitative analyst. There's a very good pay. The salary of uh, is as good as, you know, a software engineering job in a product company, in fact, better in many firms. So if you're good in mathematics and you have interest in programming, then you should think of uh, getting into quantitative finance, uh, regardless of whether you have education in quantitative finance or not. So there are many banks, for example, Morgan Stanley, Bank of America, Namura, um, DNP Parivas, then you have Deutsche Bank, Shitty Bank, uh, Fidelity, you know, Northern Trust, right? There's an endless list of companies that hire uh, such people in India. They're all there in Bangalore and Mumbai. And then you have consulting firms as well. For example, you have Ernst & Young, KPMG, and even uh, the, the tech sourcing firms such as Accenture, IBM, TCS, Infosys, even they hire quants. Uh, now, quants is a very broad term, by the way, right? And there's not much there on the internet, actually. If you read about what is a quant, who is a quant, what kind of work they do, uh, there's not uh, a lot of information out there and you could be misled by the fact that quantitative analysis is not just about building trading algorithms it's a lot more than that it's a lot broader actually in fact chunk of the work that happen in uh, banks is not about uh, trading uh, it's not about quantitative trading there's a lot more to it quantitative modeling and risk management also come under quantitative finance and many people may dispute that some people may not agree but uh, it's also a very lucrative career the problem is that how do you get started how do you enter into this field the best route is that you and you go to uh, these colleges where you have campus placements for example in iims or in some of the central universities like hyderabad university pune university mumbai university even in calcutta university jadavpur university iits uh, Madras School of Economics, Delhi School of Economics, IGIDR. Uh, in these places, you have campus selection. So, you know, you complete your degree and then you will be hired by some banks, right? You have also other opportunity, right? You can be a data scientist also in other places. Not You do not have to be a quant, but your skills in quantitative analysis can well be used in other fields. At a later point, if you want to switch your career to uh, other areas you can very well do that if you are not from these universities where you're, you're from a university where uh, you do not have campus interviews what you could do is that you just connect with people who are working in this field on linkedin that's the best use you can do linkedin is a wonderful place many people are helpful not everyone will reply to you but try to connect with people connect with the human resource people who are hiring Right. On LinkedIn, actually, many people directly put messages uh, and a lot of times they hire also freshers, people without any experience. 
and this is very unique thing about uh, quantitative analysis jobs actually in software engineering other jobs it's very difficult for a fresher uh, to get a job uh, if he's not placed in a campus interview but uh, in quantitative jobs uh, in in quant jobs actually it's not the case there are many jobs which are suitable for freshers and many people are posting on that to reach out to people the more you reach out to people the better chances you have to enter and once you enter you will have uh, lots of opportunity after you get two years or three years of experience then you don't have to search jobs uh, many people will search for you hr will many uh, hiring companies will be after you uh, so you'll have tons of opportunity after that so these are some of the things uh, i wanted to share with you if you have questions please let me know in the comment section Thanks for watching and please subscribe.